Uh, we're here in the studio, and uh, Mr. Mark Dalzell is going to talk about the 1971 Miranda Sensomat RESLR, the year 1971. I remember it very well. Man, yes. Shut up. <laughs> no comment. Me either. I think my mom does. <laughs> Exactly. Mike, I think my grandma was alive back then. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the um, Sensomat RE. Uh, this is a camera I recently picked up. Uh, From a museum? Because it looks like it's brand new. I know, it's perfect. No, via um, like a sort of a, I don't know what you want to call it, like a classified ad, we'll call it, to be old-fashioned. <laughs> yeah, I went over to someone's house to pick up a bunch of records, and she said, oh, by the way, I also have this records. table covered in cameras. Uh, and this was one of them. So it, she, her father had been sort of an amateur photographer and a bit of a camera collector. And he had some incredible, um, some really incredibly clean and beautiful vintage cameras, including this, Miranda Sense o Mat RE. Uh, this came with the, uh, the 50 millimeter 1.4 lens, also, you know, really nice clean condition. Ooh. Came with a Miranda doubler, which is really cool, a, a Miranda teleconverter, which is also very cool. I shot with it last week. It's a lot of fun to work with. This has TTL metering. Whoa. So it is a, you know, pretty modern camera, and the meter actually works really well, and it's really nice. Uh, the only downside to this, Miranda had like 30 different SLR cameras that they made. There's the, there, was the, there was also the Sensor Rex series, which is, which is a pretty popular one. The difference between the Sensor Rex and the Sense O Mat, which is what this is, is uh, it doesn't have the stop down metering built in. Uh, it doesn't have the tab on the lens to be able to calculate oh, to what your it. aperture is. So it actually has a little push button on the front that locks your aperture down. Oh. And it clicks on and clicks off, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So you like click a, it on. Like a click pen, okay. Yeah, huh. exactly, like like an old big pin. So you click it on, <laughs> and then you get your speeds and everything set up so the needle's right, and then yeah. you click it off and take the shot. That's pr- I've never seen it something like that. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of neat. Um, it also has, oh, yeah, I was going to yes, say, I haven't even neat. gotten to that part yeah. yet. Yeah, the lens Sorry. mount on it is actually, the. Uh, it's a Miranda bayonet mount. It's a four-bladed bayonet mount Mm -hmm. which is pretty unique on its own yeah but what it's also got is a 44 millimeter thread on the inside so it would mount two different types of lenses that's pretty cool which is pretty weird yeah um and a lot of companies made lenses for these there were a ton of different ones i was gonna say 44 is bigger than all the old rangefinder ones it's nothing it's a pretty coarse thread 44 anyway yeah i don't think anything would have fit it would have been very cool if they had made it like an m42 yeah that's right yeah or an m39 or something but uh yeah unfortunately no but uh, it is kind of interesting that it will take two different lenses. Um, it has... Oh, also, if there's anybody out there, this this runs from bulb to 1,000. If anybody wow. can tell me how to make it go to bulb, I haven't been able to figure that out yet. You got to press a button? No, I don't know. In, in either direction you when you pull, go to it. Can you pull it up? Can you pull it? Or no, that's your, it? That's your uh, film ISO? speed. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's a mystery. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, another thing it's got, which is kind of interesting, is it's got a front and a top-mounted shutter release, oh. depending on how you ah, like to hold it. Ah, nice. does the same thing. Well thought out. Um, and the cool thing about the one on the top, it does not have a cable release, as huh. you will see. Mm. Oh. But you can see there's nothing up my sleeves. Nothing up your sleeves. The, the top shutter release actually unscrews oh. and exposes a shutter release. Oh, look at that. Cable, well cable release yes. um, port, which is very cool. And then what I'm left with is oh, little this nothing. little spring-mounted button, which you could use on other cameras. Oh, yeah. Like imagine so, sticking this on an old Kodak course. Bellows camera. or So just this little piece alone, I think, is very, very cool. Yeah, I'm into, I'm into the adorable cable releases, yeah. I got yeah. all the tiny ones for the large format. Just dink. Yeah, Yeah. so now you've got a little push button that you can put on your... That's pretty sweet, on your, yeah. On your large format, which is yeah. kind of cool. I might try that mm. on, my, uh, on my 4x5. And, and for the folks at home, uh, the lens on this, Mark, it, it's like butter focusing it. Like Compared to like the FD mount lenses and all this stuff, it's oh, just it's very so smooth. smooth. I'm surprised, because normally those old 50 one fours just like... Yeah, but not Grindy. loose. It, it gives you a good, good a bit of resistance. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, it's um, really, really nice. Yeah, it's got a lot of neat features. This had a, a ton of removable. Uh, oh, cool! Oh. Prisms and viewfinders uh-huh. you could get. So you get the waist level finder and stuff. Yeah, for so it, it had waist level. It had multiple um, wow. uh, prisms that you could get for it. That's cool. Um, uh, it, it does not have a hot shoe on it. It doesn't have any kind of shoe on it. But there was shoe. What shoe? An accessory shoe that snapped onto the rewind lever that would give you a shoe uh, accessory shoe, and then on the side. You've got your X-Sync PC port and an FP um, nice. port as well. So, you know, it was pretty versatile. Um, and when you walked in to pick up some records, like, you basically just walked out of this person's house with, like, cameras? Everything. <laughs> yeah. She actually, I mean, again, it was, I, I kind of, I think I'm known for buying old cameras. So when I went to pick up the record, she said, oh, you're the guy who likes cameras too, right? And I said, yeah. She said, oh, because I've got all of these, so. Yeah, they pay cash money? Yeah. <laughs> I, I happen to have a 
stack of cash. You never know when you're going to bump into a table covered in cameras, so I, I always keep a bit of cash in the pocket, a couple of a bit of folding money. <laughs> so, yeah, I picked up some stuff that I'll be I'll be talking about for months to come on wow. the show. Wow, sweet. That is a sweet camera. Yeah. Wow. So that was what my first What battery one. does that take? Uh, this like takes a, six, a single uh, oh, is that 675 the, or whatever it was. I just okay. put an LR44 yep, in it. Exactly. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it works fine. You know, uh, the old battery sweats discussion. But yeah, mm, just a single. Uh, yeah. Have you shot with it yet? I did, yeah. It's very nice to shoot with. It feels good. The only thing that's a little bit clunky is remembering, like, why is it saying overexposed? Oh, yeah, right. I got to You have to stop it down. Click it down. I, I keep forgetting to do I that. I like that it's on the other side because most of the stop downs are always on the same side as your shutter release hand. So yeah. you got to like fumble around. That's or like you natural. Have to, you have to yeah. pinch it or something like on the Minolta. This one is, mm-hmm. is like, you know, a second shutter release. So And it feels kind of cool, too. It does yeah. feel like an old pin. Now, that it sounds like that's why I was pen function. What exactly does that do again? So if you look, is it's, it's, like, it's it your stop, stop down It meter. stops down the aperture so, so it look, can meter through accurately. Through it and then so you click it on. Yes. So now it stops it down to 16. And then it. And Opens then your, me- your, your needle again. will come alive yeah, when you do yeah. that. So you can go back to a bright viewfinder again to focus. Uh, oh. That's pretty sweet. So basically this button is, uh, what do you call it? The other cameras have it too. It shows you your actual, it stops down with the lens. Yes. It's a depth of field preview too. Yeah, yes. Field. Mm-hmm. So the same, so like on the Minolta, it's on the side. Yeah. So if you look through the lens here. Oh, it's very satisfying click. So you see it's just, yes. just mm-hmm. closing your aperture. But it's, on the Minolta, it's like stiff and kind of awkward. Yeah, on this one, it's sweet. just like nicely placed. Yeah, it's got nice old pebbled, you know, seventies pebbled, which yeah. feels nice in your hands too. Very there nice. You go. There's there's the Miranda. Thank you very much. Sure, my pleasure. <laughs>